Hello and welcome back to the new video of the JUnit tutorial series. So in our previous video we have seen the introduction part of the JUnit and now in this video we will be seeing how we can set up a JUnit environment on our Windows 11. Okay, so before starting this video there are some prerequisite software that you need to install in your PC in order to uh, set up the J JUnit environment on your Windows 11, right? So those two softwares are Java and Java JDK there that you need to install in your PC. So to install these two uh, quickly I will show you how you can install these two softwares in your PC just go in your Chrome and in, open up the new tab and write uh, download Java okay so for very first uh, website will come uh, which is www.java.com and you will go there at the download page and you can see a little button over here download java and you can download java from here and to download the jdk again you open up the new tab and write download jdk okay so very first page come from oracle itself which are the developer of the java okay so you just scroll down here and according to your uh, operating system you select your op operating system and just uh, select your uh, version uh, x64 bit or 34 bit you can download it click click here and the download it download will start i will not download it again as i have downloaded and installed okay so these are the two softwares that you need to install in your pc uh, once you install the install these two softwares and then we can go ahead and uh, set up the JUnit environment in our windows 11 okay so uh, to do this uh, there are two ways uh, by by which we can do this one is a uh, manual way uh, where you are, where we are, you have to download those jar files of the uh, junit uh, 4 uh, manually from the internet and you have to place those two jar files in your build system of the project okay and the second one is using an ide uh, so in a in our today's date uh, there are IDs like Intel J IDEA and Eclipse. Those are uh, pretty are uh, smart and advanced one. Uh, you can uh, you don't have to download the jar file manually. You just write one line one line import statement of that J unit, and it will automatically detect that you want to uh, uh, include the J unit dependencies in your project, and it will automatically suggest that you should download this J unit dependencies in your project. And if you just click on that uh, download, it will automatically download and add those jar files in your build system. Okay, so uh, we will see both the uh, both the ways. One is manual and one is uh, automatic way or uh, automated we will be seeing uh, using Intel GID because uh, this ID is preferred by most of the developer in today's world okay okay so let's get started and let me just open my IDE first IntelliJ idea okay uh, once I open my IDE I will just go here and click on file wait let me let it open I click on file new and project okay uh, once I click here, uh, you can see uh, language should be Java and build system should be IntelliJ and I will uh, name my project as uh, demo j unit. Okay, and I will create my project. Okay, this window I want to create. Okay, and now okay, so now my project has been uh, successfully built. Okay, so we will first see the manual way how to install okay so for installation in a manual way you just go in your chrome and head over to the new tab and write uh, junit just write junit just uh, ignore my typo uh, so you just go here and uh, to the junit 5 which is the latest version uh, in this video we will be using junit 4 okay and once you uh, head over to this uh, site you can see a uh, download and install button over here just click on that button uh, you will uh, get redirected to the official uh, junit 4 uh, repo of the uh, repo on github okay and here you can see download the following jars and add them to your test class path okay so they have given uh, the link to down downloading uh, download these jar files uh, we, we, we just need to download these two jar files and add it over to the external libraries that we are going to use in our project okay so this is our class path uh, so let me just click on this junit.jar 
uh, you will uh, get redirected to this uh, sona type uh, website and you just click on this one j unit it let let it get low and uh, you can see uh, here uh, let me go into versions yeah versions you can see there are different versions they have given over here the, i will uh, select the latest one and i will click on the browse and you can see uh, j unit 4.13.2 jar just click on this and the jar file will get downloaded okay so once this file is getting downloaded uh, i will just go back and i will again download this hamcrest core jar file uh, it will redirect me to this and i will click on the download and i, I want the jar file okay so these two files are getting downloaded uh, now for the manual way you just need to uh, get these two jar files and you have to uh, paste it down over here inside your external library that is the class path for your project right so this is the first way the manual way the, that you, you can do it and for the second way uh, using the IntelliJ idea itself okay so you just you don't need to do anything you just go ahead and create a new java class let me call it as test here because i will write the test cases over here itself and just let me create my main method over here at coming also main method okay and i will create one uh, custom method over here of public static not public void test cases and I will write this method and I will write uh, system.out.println executing j unit test cases. Okay, so after that, I will just come here or come over here and I will just simply write at test okay as soon as i write this uh, you should get error uh, telling that uh, okay and you can see uh, you are getting one little error over here you just click on this uh, button and i you as you can see it is suggesting you that you should add j unit 4 to your class path okay so as soon as i click over here and click okay it will automatically add j unit uh, dependencies to my class path and it will it, it will also import the j unit dot test class from the j unit library itself okay and I, when i click on the external libraries you can see j unit uh, dependencies is getting added and exactly the similar two files that we are downloaded from the web those two files are also getting uh, automatically added to this external libraries folder okay so this is how uh, you can uh, add those uh, dependencies of the J unit in, in IntelliJ IDEA without downloading uh, manually downloading any files. And as soon as I click on this run test cases, the test cases should run successfully. I should get prompt of successful testing. Okay, so you can see uh, green uh, green tick green tick, which is representing represents as test cases passed and one little line i have written inside this method executing JUnit test cases that is printing on over here as well okay so uh, that means everything is working fine uh, our j unit dependencies is also getting added inside our j uh, intel j idea okay so this is how uh, you can add the dependencies and set up the j unit environment on windows 11 and start working and start using the JUnit. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.